In this equation, we have hydrobromic acid plus barium hydroxide. We have an acid plus a base. This is a neutralization reaction. We'll count the atoms up first on the reactant side. We have the one hydrogen here, but be careful because we have hydrogens here as well. We have one times two. So that gives us two more. So now we have three hydrogen atoms. We have one bromine, one barium, and this two, it applies to everything in the parentheses. So two times one, that gives us two oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, two bromines, one barium, and one oxygen. Why don't we balance the oxygens first and see what that does to the hydrogens? So if we have two here and one here, we could put a two in front of the H2O. One times two, that'll give us two oxygens. And then our hydrogens, we have two times two. That gives us four hydrogens. So the bromines and the hydrogens, those aren't balanced. It looks like I could put a two in front of the HBr, and that might give me a total of four hydrogens. Let's count them up again and see. So I have one times two plus the one here times the two. That gives me four hydrogens. And then for the bromine, I have one times two. Gives me two bromines, and those are balanced, and we're done. This equation is balanced. One place people do have problems is they count this hydrogen here and forget about these over here. So make sure you count all the hydrogens up on the reactant side. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HBr plus BaOH2, hydrobromic acid plus barium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.